Welcome back to Taking Time. I'm Jonathan, and I think I have the most complicated Speedmaster that Omega's ever produced. Stick around, we're gonna talk about it. Hey, so I have here a very late uh, 2021 release by Omega. It is the Omega Speedmaster Chronoscope. So this thing is in a 43 millimeter case by only, I think it's like 12.8 millimeters thick. So it's extremely thin. Uh, carries over the same true aspects of any uh, Omega Speedmaster professional. It's a fully manual wind watch, but it, the thing that's different is obviously you can see the actual movement in this and boy can you see the actual movement and it's uh absolutely stunning so they've really gone far above any normal speedmaster before it uh, now what i mean as far as i think it's the most complicated uh speedmaster ever made is that it's not your generic speedmaster it's not the norm, normal uh, tack meter scale that essentially you can time stuff from, you know, whenever you're in a car, you can press the, uh, you know, chronograph and you pass two points and you stop it. And that's how fast essentially you've gone. It not only has that, but it also has a pulsometer. So for you doctors out there, you can actually use this watch to actually uh, time a patient's pulse. Uh, and it has a telemeter. So if you're into... Uh, going outside during a lightning storm uh, and basically looking at lightning and uh, seeing how far away it is, you can actually see the lightning, press go, and by the time you hear thunder, uh, you can press stop, and that's how far away the actual lightning is. Not that I'm advising you to ever do that because it's uh, very dangerous, uh, but you can do that with this watch. So it's all wrapped up in this beautiful stainless steel case. Um, you do get a very interesting dial layout uh, compared to any other Speedmaster 2. You actually get Arabic numerals on it. Uh, you get a different color, uh, color wave with the red and the black. I find it very attractive. There is a blue edition out there, but uh, I, don't, I don't necessarily prefer that one. I prefer this one. Um, but yeah, um, so we do have this watch in stock. Uh, I believe we have it with a uh, box of papers. Uh, yeah, uh, why don't you uh, give me a call? I'd love to talk to you about it because you guys probably know more about this watch than I do. Uh, so yeah, go to SwissWatchExpo.com. It's on, in stock. And uh, yeah, give me a call.